You've probably heard of Render, but how much do you really know about the data driving this project? In today's video, we're not just giving an overview, we're dissecting every critical aspect from token inflation rates, whale activity, and token allocation to its real-world applications and the transition to Solana. We've done extensive research to bring you the data that truly matters, including tokenomics, market trends, whale behavior, and the innovative burn mint equilibrium model. By the end, you'll have everything you need to decide if Render's decentralized rendering platform is worth your investment. Whether it's real-world applications in film, VR, or architecture, this deep dive will show you if Render has the potential to be a game changer. Render operates as a decentralized network designed to revolutionize the 3D graphics and rendering industry by utilizing distributed computing power on the blockchain. Whether it's films, games, architecture, or virtual and augmented reality, Render is already making an impact in these real-world applications by providing cost-effective and scalable rendering solutions. Initially launched on the Ethereum blockchain, Render has since transitioned to Solana, allowing users to rent out unused computing power to help render complex images and videos. This has significantly reduced costs and processing time for artists, studios, and companies in the digital graphics space. The transition from Ethereum to Solana was driven by the need for a more scalable and cost-effective infrastructure. Solana's faster transaction speeds and lower fees make it better suited for Render's high-throughput network. The one-to-one -one swap ratio for RNDR to the new Render token on Solana ensured a seamless transition for holders. This move not only enhances the user experience by speeding up transactions, but also helps scale the network to meet the increasing demand for decentralized rendering services. Let's start with Render's inflation and supply dynamics. Render's circulating supply is currently close to its total supply, with 517.7 million tokens in circulation out of a total supply of 532.2 million. This minimal gap suggests that future inflation will be low, and there's no significant backlog of tokens waiting to flood the market, which supports price stability. With a market cap of $3.46 billion and a fully diluted valuation of $3.56 billion, the narrow difference indicates that the full value of the project is close to being realized. Additionally, the 24-hour trading volume of over $350 million signals healthy market activity, ensuring ample liquidity for investors, making it easy to enter and exit positions. This low inflation rate is crucial for long-term investors as it reduces the likelihood of supply shocks that could negatively impact the price. Moreover, Render's burn mint equilibrium model plays a vital role in maintaining this balance. Tokens are burned when used to pay for rendering services, and new tokens are minted to reward node operators. This controlled process ensures that token supply growth is kept in check, making price appreciation more dependent on increased demand rather than inflation. The token allocation strategy is well balanced. Only 10% of the total supply is held in the render reserve, ensuring that enough tokens are available for network incentives and stability without giving too much control to the core team. Additionally, 25% of the tokens were sold early, showing strong interest from investors and helping fuel initial network growth. Most importantly, 65% of the tokens remain in escrow, a strategic decision to prevent sudden inflation by releasing tokens gradually in line with network growth. This structure ensures that supply and demand are balanced, promoting the long-term sustainability of the project. Among the top holders of Render tokens, several prominent exchanges, such as Binance, Kraken, and Bybit, hold a significant portion of the supply. This is generally seen as a good sign, as it means the token is in demand for trading and liquidity purposes across multiple platforms. The fact that large exchanges hold these tokens is an indicator of strong market interest, allowing for more users to buy, sell, or hold Render. Let's dive deeper into the on-chain metrics, starting with active addresses, a crucial indicator of network engagement. Our research shows that when the number of active addresses on the Render network rises, it correlates with an increase in price. This connection between network activity and token price highlights how user engagement can drive demand for Render tokens. On the flip side, when active addresses drop, the price tends to follow the same downward trend. For long-term investors, this is a key point to consider. By keeping an eye on active addresses, you could spot windows of opportunity to buy in during periods of lower demand, as the overall trend between active addresses and price has historically moved upward. In addition to strong network engagement, 
Render tokens are available on numerous major exchanges, including Binance, Coinbase, OKX, and KuCoin. This broad exchange presence ensures liquidity, making it easy for users to trade render in pairs, predominantly against USDT. Binance, in particular, stands out, with a 24-hour trading volume of over $30 million, indicating high market demand and liquidity. Now, let's talk about price volatility. As we track Render's price history, volatility has been a key feature, with the token reaching an all-time high of $13.60 in March 2024. During this period, trading volume soared to $3.8 billion. However, it's essential to note that volatility was also at its peak, hitting 190% that week. With the current price sitting around $6, this could present an opportunity for new investors looking to enter at a lower level. However, volatility is always a double-edged sword. The token has also experienced a 52-week low of $1.53, underscoring the risks that come with such price fluctuations. The 30-day volatility metrics, ranging from 84% to 127%, highlight this ongoing fluctuation. Investors looking for potential upside should weigh these metrics carefully, as volatility offers both opportunities and risks. But volatility is just one piece of the puzzle. The adoption rate and investor activity tell an equally important story about Render's growth potential. Render's new adoption rate peaked at 41% in March 2024, showcasing strong engagement from new users on the Render network. A higher adoption rate typically drives demand for the token, as more users actively participate in the ecosystem. Even now, with a 30-day average adoption rate of 29%, there's consistent interest from new participants, which is a positive sign for long-term growth. When analyzing transaction sizes, most trades in March 2024 fell between $10,000 and $10 million, indicating a healthy balance of retail and institutional involvement. Large trades exceeding $10 million contributed to a notable $500 million in volume, signaling heavy activity from institutional players during this time. On average, render tokens are held for about 5.7 months, suggesting that most investors are looking for medium to long-term gains. This holding behavior points to investor confidence in render's long-term potential, especially in comparison to short-term profit-chasing tokens. Next, let's explore who's actually holding the render tokens. What does the distribution tell us about market dynamics and potential price movements? At first glance, it may seem like nearly 71% of the total render tokens are controlled by just four whale addresses. However, it's important to note that 65% of the total supply is locked in escrow, which significantly influences this percentage. The escrowed tokens are held back to ensure a gradual release aligned with network growth, preventing sudden market inflation. Looking at the broader distribution, over 90% of all render addresses hold between 0 and 1,000 tokens, indicating a large base of retail investors. But in terms of actual token holdings, the most significant portion is held by 221 addresses, each controlling between 100,000 and 1 million render tokens. These addresses collectively own 16.95% of the total supply, suggesting a considerable concentration of capital among a relatively small number of well-capitalized addresses. This concentration can have a notable impact on market dynamics, especially in terms of price volatility and liquidity. And what about whale movements? Their behavior often sets the tone for major price changes in the market. Let's see what the data reveals. Whale activity has been crucial in shaping Render's price and overall ecosystem. We've tracked both inflow and outflow activities over the past year to get a better picture of how these large holders are moving their tokens. Inflow activity, when whales move tokens to exchanges, possibly to sell, often signals potential downward pressure. But in March 2024, despite Render reaching a peak price of $13.14, inflow volume didn't spike. This suggests that the price rally was largely driven by organic demand, not major whale sell-offs. However, the subsequent decline may have been influenced by market sentiment or profit-taking by smaller investors. On the other hand, outflow activity, when tokens are withdrawn from exchanges for long-term holding or staking, provides insight into whale confidence. A notable outflow occurred on the 23rd of July 2024, when a significant volume of tokens left exchanges, yet the price didn't rally as one might expect. Instead, it dipped slightly. A deeper look revealed that these tokens were moved to Wormhole, a cross-chain bridge that facilitates transfers between Ethereum and Solana. 
This aligns with Render's migration to Solana and suggests that whales were preparing for the transition, which offered benefits like lower fees and faster transactions. Next, let's explore staking in the Render ecosystem and how it compares to traditional staking models in crypto. Render's staking mechanism is quite different from typical proof-of-stake systems. Instead of staking tokens, Render uses a proof-of-render model that rewards GPU providers who contribute computational power to the network. These node operators are compensated in Render tokens, effectively staking their hardware resources to facilitate rendering tasks on the network. For those looking to earn passive income, Render offers opportunities through third-party DeFi platforms. While Render doesn't offer a native staking option, platforms on Solana and other networks allow users to stake or yield farm Render tokens. This provides flexibility for investors who are interested in leveraging their holdings for rewards without needing to run a node themselves. This system underscores the practical application of Render's decentralized network. By allowing users to stake computational power instead of just tokens, Render democratizes access to GPU resources, making high-end computing more accessible and scalable. Speed is everything in rendering, and this is where Render stands out against traditional methods. Traditional rendering often requires high performance, specialized hardware that can be extremely resource intensive, especially for rendering high quality visuals. This creates bottlenecks for creatives working on large scale projects. In contrast, Render utilizes a decentralized network of distributed GPUs, tapping into unused computing power worldwide. This approach significantly boosts rendering speed and scalability. Artists and studios no longer need to rely solely on their own expensive hardware. For the average user, this means they can access cutting-edge technology and reduce their reliance on local high-end equipment, making Render a game-changer for industries like film, architecture, and virtual reality. By offering scalable rendering solutions, Render is allowing professionals to complete complex visual tasks faster than ever before. But it's not just about speed. What if you could cut costs while increasing efficiency? Traditional rendering setups require a large upfront investment in specialized hardware and ongoing maintenance costs, especially for studios or large design firms. Render solves this by allowing users to pay only for the computing power they need when they need it, which can dramatically reduce operational costs. Studios, digital artists, and even small agencies can now afford the resources they need to produce high-quality content without the heavy capital investment in equipment. For industries where every second counts, such as media, architecture, and gaming, Render offers a cost-effective solution that makes high-end rendering accessible to more people. In the decentralized GPU model, Render users are essentially renting unused computational resources, optimizing both time and money spent on rendering tasks. Imagine tapping into vast amounts of computing power beyond the limits of your hardware. That's what Render offers. Traditional rendering methods often confine users to their local hardware's limitations. The performance of even high-end systems can be stretched thin when handling large-scale rendering projects, especially in industries like film, gaming, and architecture. Render eliminates these constraints by providing access to a decentralized network of distributed GPUs. Users can leverage computing power from around the globe enabling them to undertake rendering tasks that would otherwise be impossible or time-consuming on in-house systems. And when projects get bigger, Render gets better. Let's talk about scalability. One of Render's standout features is its scalability. Traditional rendering methods can quickly hit a ceiling when the project size exceeds the limits of the available local hardware. But Render's decentralized network is built to scale seamlessly. Large projects, such as feature films or expansive virtual reality worlds, require massive amounts of computing power. Render enables users to tap into the network's distributed power and effortlessly scale up their operations. This scalability is ideal for modern industries like gaming, virtual reality, and film, where demands for processing power can fluctuate dramatically depending on the project size. Render's decentralized approach ensures that no matter how large the project grows, there's always more computing power available to handle the load. Now, let's look ahead. How is Render shaping its future through key events and community engagement? The Render network is not only focused on technology, but also on fostering a vibrant community and maintaining strong ties with the broader crypto and AI ecosystems. An upcoming highlight is Permissionless 2024 on October 10th, where Render's founder, Jules Urbach, will discuss the future of AI and crypto alongside industry leaders. 
Another key event is the Blender Conference 2024, from October 23rd until October 25th, where Render will present its integration of cycles, expanding decentralized GPU rendering to millions of Blender artists. Lastly, a grayscale deep dive featuring Urbach and Trevor Harry's Jones will explore Render's contributions to decentralized computing and DeepIn, offering valuable insights for potential investors. And now, let's get real. How is Render being used in industries today? In the highly demanding world of filmmaking, Render has drastically reduced the rendering times required for special effects and animation. By utilizing its distributed network, studios can quickly render complex visuals, cutting costs, and increasing efficiency. This is particularly valuable for big-budget blockbusters, where meeting tight production deadlines is crucial. Render is transforming how architects and designers visualize their projects. With Render's decentralized GPU power, they can create high-quality 3D visualizations and virtual walkthroughs of buildings and spaces. As demand for immersive virtual and augmented reality experiences grows, Render has found a niche in real-time rendering for virtual environments. The decentralized power of Render allows for high-performance, real-time visualization, making it ideal for industries such as gaming and education, where virtual and augmented reality is becoming more integrated into user experiences. So, is Render the future of decentralized rendering? That's for you to decide. If you found value in this deep dive and want to explore other opportunities in the crypto space, I've got two videos that will keep you ahead of the curve. Discover how AI is set to reshape the future of crypto and learn about the top AI coins with the potential for massive returns. Or explore how tokenizing real-world assets is transforming finance, with giants like BlackRock entering the space. And as always, please keep in mind that the content in this video is based on our research and should not be taken as financial advice. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I really appreciate it.